Uh, Jamie down here, I've just come up to catch up with Steve Wood. We, we've got a show this weekend, just done a little interview with him. I thought it'd be rude not to talk to you because it's all changed, mate. Mr. Um, Cattrall just signed with uh, Matt Room, and obviously the, the fight with Chantel and uh, Katie Taylor just been made right out of the blue. But before we talk about them, I just wanted to get your opinions on um, Young Akeem, who got his first stop in the last more professional than this, Lee. Why? When you're doing interviews, always put your phone on silent, what's up with you? Come on. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I presume you will chuffle with that because uh, Dean Dodge uh, was a, a genuinely good test for him. Yeah. And he got eight rounds in the bank. I'm getting terrorised. <laughs> eight rounds in the bank. Is that Mr. Capsule? Yeah, it's just saying see <laughs> With one finger. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, um, yeah but a perfect performance for him, wasn't yeah. it? Dominant from start to finish. Yeah, yeah, he's really come into his own now. He's um, Dean Dodge, tough, tough opponent for him. Especially, you know, when you look through Aki's record, I've said it a few times, um, he's not got the usual 10, 11 sort of victims, you'd say, or the, the journeyman what you'd expect of someone, a young lad coming through. He's got uh, quite a few decent opponents for this stage of his career and rightly so, I think it's the best way to develop someone like him because if you give him 10 knockover jobs, it just gives him a false sense of security. Like he's, you know, he, he can punch, he's, he's only got one stoppage now. He can definitely punch but he, he's been in there with and he's had to sort of navigate fights in, in a more cautious way because of the type of opponents he's been in with so he'll definitely stand in a better stead for when he steps up to british title level um, and you can see his repertoire now he's really sort of got that good blend between boxing and knowing when to use his skills and knowing when to switch it turn it on a fight but he does throw great combinations doesn't he when yeah. he lets his hands go uh, the combinations that he throws are, are not just in twos and threes, but they're in six, oh, seven, and eights. Yeah, and that's one of his best attributes: his, his hand speed and his accuracy. Sometimes I'd like him to slow it down a little bit and pick his shots better, um, but that's a work in progress. And I think you know when he gets that right, when he starts to go from the fives and six combinations, and then all of a sudden slows down into the one, two, and really sinks one in. Then you'll really start to see him get, you know, put some devastating performances. Um, what's next for him? You were saying you hope he's going to be out there. Yeah, well, Jack, Jack's boxing um, MN Arena, 27th of May. I'm just, I'm assuming Matt Room are probably going to put Akib on that one as well because obviously he's local and he sells tickets, so uh, it's not been announced. No, no one's mentioned anything yet, but I think that it'll be the 27th. Yeah. But it has been announced that isn't it going to be the rematch between Wood and Lara? That's so that's top of the bill, yeah, yeah. Jack's on there as chief support, so uh, it makes sense to put Akib on there as well, so hopefully. Thank you, Frank Smith. Get him on there. <laughs> now, back on to the subject with the two two kids in the gym there today. Um, Chantel, I just love the way this fight has come about because it was just a tweet. Someone yeah, tweeted, yeah. she tweeted, I won't mind the fight. She said, yeah, go on, why not? And now it's happening, 20th of May, yeah, all in yeah. Dublin. I mean, Katie, for the first time ever, calling someone out, and obviously she wanted the homecoming to Dublin so bad, um, and you've got to take it out after her because she's picked the toughest challenge out there. So, uh, you know, Chantel is over the moon, as you can imagine, um, and she's absolutely flying. You know, she's she's just sparred there, and she's really on form, and uh, and I think you know, I think every, I think everyone expecting sort of Katie, absolute pure, beautiful boxer. Chantel to come and sort of be the aggressor, but Chantel can box, she really can, and uh, you know, I don't want to give too much away, but um, I don't think it's out of the equation that Chantel can, can outbox Kate as well. What, what weight is it going to be at then? Is That's it super for... lightweight, yeah, so Kate's moving up and challenging Chantel, yeah. Right, right, right. Well, uh, it's, uh, it, it just, it's just amazing how quickly things move in female boxing. Um, the, the, they've got some balls, haven't they? <laughs> well, I know they haven't, but you know what I'm saying though, it's, they, they just don't I, say no, do they? The thing is as well, I, and I think this is right, but I think this is the first time ever that two undisputed world champions have fought each other at the same at the time they were both undisputed champions, which is, uh, is a bit of history as well. So, um, so if that's the case, which I think it is, then when the fight happens, it'll be the first time ever that two fighters have been announced in the ring 
as the reigning undefeated, undisputed world champion, which is ace. Yeah, because yeah. I think Kate is 22 and all, and Chantel 17 and all. 17 and all, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah it's amazing. It's uh, just <laughs> for the record book, record books, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. So it's ace, ace, it's great to be part of it. Yeah, uh, definitely. And then the week after, we just talked about it, uh, Capital making his uh, his um, his own uh, debut. Yeah. Uh, do we have an opponent yet? No, no, no opponent yet. But um, there's a couple being talked about. It's a ten rounder. So um, and then Eddie said he's going to keep him busy. Probably get him like three fights in the next nine months. He said so every three months. So is uh, that's what he's happy with because obviously because of the situation and what's happened and him stepping aside and waiting. Nearly three years, he's had one fight, so it's it's not good for somebody at his age and stage of his career. So now he can, I mean, he's probably coming into his peak now. He's like 29, 30, so he's um he can he can get momentum now and start. Well, to hard fights, age. He doesn't have too many hard well, fights. He doesn't really take many no. clean shots ever. So I mean, he spars once a week to keep his time and distance. He's the ultimate pro. He's, he's in the gym all the time. So over that three years, what we're talking about. Never been out of the gym. No, I know. So, um, so yeah, he, he, he's, he's the uh, fr from a trainer's point of view, he's, he's an absolute dream to train someone like that. You don't have to. You're not on the back nagging him. You know, how's your weight? Just he's just does everything off his own back. Yeah, top kid. Well, listen, good luck for. Uh, hopefully, it could be a very, very uh, eventful uh, month of May for you. Uh, have we got any other kids out yet, or is it just those no, two? No, no definites. So we're looking at. Mark Leach and Lerone are both looking for a date. Steve Woods said that he's going to get him a date soon. Maybe that'll end up in May um, or even early June. So Stephen Ward potentially might be fighting third of June. We just I thought, I thought Stephen had packed it. No, no, he, he, he's not over here all the time. He's, he's training over in Belfast, but he's still fighting. He's um, he, yeah. So Paul um, at Monkstown is he's working there helping. The kids in the community, you know, have been excluded from school and stuff like that. So he's doing some work with them through boxing. But then when he gets a date, he'll be back over there training, yeah. Oh, imagine! Good so, to see the quiet man. Yeah. Uh, right, nice one, Jamie. Thanks. Well, Turson might be coming back as well. Oh Turson yeah. Turson Collat might, yeah. So. Uh, oh, got so, them two and then uh, Steve Ward and him two together. That yeah, was yeah. So, so he's he, he's um, doing Ramadan at the moment, and then the plan is for him to come back over here straight after Ramadan. And get a date for sort of mid to end of June. Right, so buzzing Great kid, place again. Yeah, good, good, good fight as well. Can really fight. Yeah, uh, hard punching southpaw. He was yeah, an absolute yeah. beast at the weight. Yeah, we need to get his English better though. So I'm going to ask. Are you going to put him with Steve Moore and try and get his English better? No, no. <laughs> and look, the thing is, Nigel said I'll I'll teach him oh, English. Oh, that's, like, that's even worse. What? <laughs> I can't even understand what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because he's got that old and twang, isn't he? Because he's not sold for Yeah, he just and... rushes it and I hit him that hard. Uh, <laughs> there's definitely some type of dementia going on there. <laughs> Jamie, it's a pleasure. Take care, mate. Nice See you soon. Bye. For all boxing, info, news and latest interviews, amateur and pro, across and off, click and subscribe. VIP, boxing promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.